You. A South Florida family looking for answers after their loved one is shot and killed by police. NBC6 investigator Amy Viteri is joining us live from Southwest Miami-Dade with the new developments tonight. Amy? Well, an attorney representing that family sent a letter of intent just yesterday to the county informing them of their plans to file suit once the inquiry into this shooting is wrapped up. It's a shooting that led to the death of a father and left a family with so many questions, many of which likely won't be answered until this investigation is complete. He was my, my best friend. It was the afternoon of November 29th. 59-year-old Osvaldo Cueli and his son, also named Osvaldo, were doing work at their Redland home in southwest Miami-Dade when family tells us they saw something suspicious. They hopped the gate and they're on this side of the property, like looking at the boat trailer. He says he and his dad spotted men trespassing on their 10-acre property on southwest 192nd Street. Father and son got in their golf cart to investigate. My dad, like, beep twice to like be like oh what you doing the men took off he says and Osvaldo senior went to the house to get a gun and my dad goes to arm himself which was my grandmother's gun which is registered what happened next is still hard to understand he says his father wearing the gun at his waist drove back to the gate when two dark pickup trucks pulled up no lights no sirens they literally pulled up they bar they didn't even have time to almost put the, the truck in park they just started shooting out the window osvaldo jr says he ran back toward the house to escape the gunfire the bullets he says were coming from inside one of the pickup trucks causing the holes in this windshield but says he still did not know the shooters were police they were wearing a regular like jackets shirts pants and a holster that's my dad the cops shot the cops shot my dad daughter gabriela came running recording video on her cell phone video showing her father bleeding on the ground as two plainclothes officers stand next to him someone came into our property and my dad drove out to chase them and he pulled out a gun on us. One detective tells her, we identified ourselves and he pulled a gun on us. They never did. We never knew who they were. I just thought they were random people trying to kill us. He was still breathing. He, he was struggling to breathe. He was moving. Gabriela says no one made an effort to help her dying father. At the time, Miami-Dade police said detectives patrolling the area went to that property after getting a 911 call about a dispute over a stolen vehicle. When they arrived, they say they saw a vehicle matching the description and tried to make contact, but a confrontation ensued and shots were fired. My dad never reached for his gun. The family says that vehicle police believed was stolen, that's their car. In that moment, you did not say you were police. In that moment, you weren't, we didn't know they were police. And Miami-Dade Police sent us a statement reading in part, the department is aware of the notice of intent to bring a suit regarding the incident. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is conducting an independent investigation for presentation to the state attorney's office, then followed by an administrative investigation conducted by Miami-Dade Police's Professional Compliance Bureau. And one more thing, the family mentioned to us the fact that the gun their father was carrying is not visible in that cell phone video. They say it was later recovered by a nearby tree. Another aspect of this case they say just doesn't make sense. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade. Amy Viteri, local